What is going on YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here back at my church for the Church Project Lawn uh, with a little bit of information. Thank you for tuning in back here at Central North Carolina. Uh, we are, if you didn't watch the video where we first explained what the heck is gonna be happening out here, come fall time, this is the preschool. This is our new -er, um, pl uh, pr playground and play set for the preschool that's about two years old here at our church. And uh, I need a challenge. I want a challenge. My lawn, as I mentioned, is kind of on cruise control. But we've decided, or I've decided, to try and make this section, as you see, uh, left side of the bank here. We're gonna try to plant grass around this playground and uh, have it looking pretty decent. And then we'll have to figure out what the heck we're gonna do down here. But for now, that's what we're gonna work on in the fall. So if you didn't watch the video, that's the deal. And today, guys, I just kinda wanted to give a, a quick summary of the um, the schedule, the goal, the idea, a quick rundown, more in detail of, uh, of what I plan to do. Um, we're not gonna go so uh, in detail like, like the lawn like my own lawn. Um, yes, we're gonna make it look nice. Yes, we're gonna take care of it, but uh, budget-wise, we may not do every single item on the list that you may do in your lawn. So I thank you guys for your comments. I thank you for your suggestions. I need that. Please keep them coming uh, to remind me of, of Mr. Ferguson, you should try this, you should consider that, and we may or may not do the suggestion you submit based on money, based on what the church wants to do, based on time, effort, labor, all those good things. And as I just walk through the property of everywhere we're gonna be uh, running this, you can just see it is Weed City. There's a little bit of fescue right here, but uh, one thing I wanted to mention was, you know, we talked about, well, we could go ahead and kill weeds. Somebody said, well, I'm not gonna do that. I made that mistake in my own lawn. I, I killed all the weeds in the beginning of July because I was so anxious to get good GCI seed in my backyard. Well, I killed all the weeds in July and it wasn't planning until, well, actually about mid-July and I had a desert back there um, and actually crabgrass and other weeds, I did it so early that I did such a good job of getting rid of it that it was so long before I actually aerated and planted, I had more weeds grow in. So I don't want to do that here. Um, so we're not going to kill the weeds until probably August. Um, we'll get out here. Everything that I think the 2,4-D touches is going to smoke it all. It's almost going to look like glyphosate because there's not a lot of fescue and if there is fescue here i'm just going to keep it because clearly without anybody maintaining it it's deeply rooted and it should be good to go same thing i did in my lawn like this right here you can see some wild fescue right here of no cultivar that has ever been uh, planted because my dad and I have never planted any grass out here. So this fescue, couldn't tell you what cultivar is because it's just wild fescue, but there's not enough of it. The point is there's not enough fescue out here to do like a weed and feed to maintain what's out here because it's never been planted on. It's wild bare dirt. So uh, the other thing, second thing, um, we had to use a jackhammer to build the foundation of the church. So rock may be an issue. And I was previously recording, I didn't like the way it went, uh, but there's a big rock over here. We're gonna have to rake some of this. Also, probably gonna do some of that in August. Look at this big rock. Obviously, we don't wanna run the aerator or anything over that sucker, but I hope that's not a, a huge, massive rock underneath right here. That could cause a problem. We could have areas where the roots will be very shallow if that's there we're going to find out one way or another aren't we but point being we're going to hold off on weed killing really until probably august let it run its course let it kill we'll get out here we'll run the mower we'll get all the dead weeds and all this mess that we kill off with the 24d and uh, do some raking do some a little bit of rake leveling getting the rocks collecting those getting those out of the lawn rocks like this guy right here and rocks on the other side where it's uneven and so we'll do that what we can do before august uh one thing that i know that i will be doing and we'll we'll do it here probably during the summer is a soil test we will take the probe we'll get some dirt we'll send it off for fun one reason just for fun i'm sure we need phosphorus i'm sure there's zero nitrogen because there's never been fertilizer to ever touch this property. Um, so I'm very curious what's naturally in this dirt. We're going to find out. Um, and, this, and the main reason why we want to do that soil test before August is pH. If you're doing this at your home, 
you want to know your pH. You want to get your pH between six and seven, and you can do that now before you ever plant in fall, before you ever rent the aerator, before you ever plant any seed. If your pH is below six, it's over seven, you've got some work to do now to get your dirt right, as Pete says. And so we need to find out what's our pH. We either need to add some lime, or we're going to need to get some citric acid and get our pH in balance here and figure out what to do there um, so that we can just grow the grass and that it will grow and not die off or not like you know not like it's home um, so that is the main reason and we need to do that soon to figure that out um, it's not always easy to raise or lower ph levels so that may be a work we have to do in time but that's one thing we can do is getting our dirt right ph wise to prepare ourselves for the seed i likely most i plan on it right now to aerate uh, compaction. If you plant all that seed in your lawn and your lawn has never been aerated and it's not newly constructed in the last several years, your, your lawn is probably compacted. That seed needs to be loot, or excuse me, that seed's roots needs to be able to get down in that dirt. If you have compacted soil, it can't do that. The seed's just going to die and give up. The sun will scorch it. It won't be able to get down to the moisture and you're going to just waste your money on all that seed. You don't want that to happen. So if you've never aerated, yes, you do need to loosen a compact lawn if you've aerated in the past several years i don't think it's necessary we need to level all this hand raking this also to be done in august so that's kind of the plan for now we may or may not do biostimulants depends on our budget we may or may not do this or that soil amendments we may not do that we may keep it very basic very simple and just see how it turns out hand raking leveling out doing soil tests getting our ph right doing an aeration planting our seed doing starter fruit we'll definitely be doing all of that and then we may have to come back and spot seed depending on if rain comes rain don't come we're gonna have to water um, but we'll be killing off everything that's not fescue in this lawn but likely i just want to let you know we'll probably be doing that in august so we don't do it twice and more weeds just grow in if we did it today so i hope that makes sense so we'll keep the video short and sweet I don't think we need to really go over anything else, but as we get closer and closer through the summer months, if I'm not in my lawn, we'll come out here, we'll talk about what we're doing, we'll set up the tripod. You know, we may get the help of some of y'all that said, hey, I'll come and help. We may need to just have a day to rake and do some leveling like right here and get the rocks out uh, if anybody wants to, but I don't think it's gonna be too difficult to do that by hand. So anyways, from the church project, thank you guys so much for tuning in as we just, look at weedville here and uh, another video to show how not good it looks as it is right now hopefully rocks won't be an issue but i look forward to uh, working out here seeing if we can make it possible to completely transform this into beautiful um, fescue grass of some type we don't know what brand seed yet that'll be an announcement we make as we get closer um, but looking forward to see if we can transform this place for the kids for the church for the parents for the preschool so god bless you guys hope you have a fantastic friday we will see you back in my lawn on monday for another lawn care video take it easy Oh, 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 oh,